All right, everybody. So here's my uh, 2021 metal detecting uh, year in review. A couple of really good highlights. I found the best ring that I've ever found value-wise and probably maybe even coolness as well. So that was pretty cool out of all the uh, stuff that I have. Uh, I got some silver coins and uh, a bunch of large sets. There's a bunch of large sets that I, uh, I think I actually already threw into my coin binder. So they're not actually there. So there's a bunch of stuff missing like large sets and stuff like that. But there's still some notable finds that I uh, did manage to track down and uh, add to this video. So uh, if you're interested, uh, check this out. Junk rings here to show you. If there's anything cool or not. This guy here is black. I mean, you can see or not, it's got cool little sparkles in it. It's pretty neat. Down here a little bit farther, and uh, there's all sorts of neat stuff. Here's another one. It's pretty cool. It almost looks like it's a kind of a gold, silver, almost like a cluster kind of act, which is kind of neat. Hopefully, you can see that in the video. Another odds and ends. There's been a couple of heartbreakers. This one rang in like a perfect gold ring, and if you can see it there, it's a uh, Nice little heart there, and it, uh, well, this one tricked me. I thought this was good. <laughs> Ragged like a solid 18. I thought for sure that was a really nice gold ring with uh, rubies in it. Here's some more interesting stuff. A little earring there. The junk's kind of fun too. It makes it interesting when you're not finding anything interesting. Here's something cool. It looks like it would have been pretty cool. It's probably gold plated, but uh, this big monster's ring. Who knows what this is made of? Feels like it's made out of lead. It'd make a good fishing weight of anything. <laughs> Heaviest ring I think I've ever found. But yeah, it was fun. Joker rings are fun to dig up because, uh, you know, it gives you a rush even if you're not really finding anything good. So here's another fun Junker ring, which, uh, you know, you'd think was golden when you first look at it. So you see the sparkles and the fake CZ cubic zirconias, but uh, yeah, junk rings are fun. All right, so here's a few more notable finds. Uh, a couple of large scents there and some... Uh, George the Fifth pennies, as well as uh, some military buttons. Uh, skeleton key there actually has uh, a loop on it, so I guess somebody's wearing that as a pendant. It's kind of fun. We're getting here a little bit closer now. We'll... All right, well now I can see things a little bit better. Pretty cool little military buttons. Those are always fun to find out in the military button collection. That <laughs> large scent I put in there, I don't have my glasses on. It's getting kind of dark, so I put that in kind of sideways-ish, but that's good. Okay. So got a euro coin there, I think, uh, some one pence, or some sort of pence. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, there's still some fun stuff out there. My silver coin finds for the year of uh, 2021, and uh, I think I got like 55, 60, something like that, somewhere in that range. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer and you guys can take a little bit of a closer look if you like. Hey, old murky up there. and. Uh, this is the first time I got one of those mackerels there from 67. And you can see down here, uh, got a couple of cool silver quarters there with uh, King Edward. The 1902 down there, I believe. A couple of uh, US silver quarters, as well as a couple of fish scales. As well as uh, some dimes as well, they're pretty decent. So, not too shabby. See the different levels of uh, tonality and uh, tarnishing, which is kind of cool as well. Which makes the silver kind of unique. So anyways. Yep, not too shabby babby. Could be worse, that's for sure. No complaints. Silver jewelry finds for 2021. At least the most uh, uh, the most notable ones, I would guess. Kind of like the highlights. So up here, this guy here is probably one of the biggest silver rings I've ever found. It's uh, pushing 12 grams, I believe. And if you actually see in the middle there, it actually has a, a real diamond, which is pretty cool. Now over here, this guy here is just a little bit less in weight, but uh, the H there, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what that stands for. It could be Howie, Howard, Highlight, Highlight Reel, I'm not sure. But anyways, it's gold, so uh, that's why it fell in the gold category as well as the silver category. So this guy here is just a plain silver band that I found, but it was actually completely black, like black crusted. And so I used, I think, some uh, vinegar and some... Uh, baking soda made a paste put it on there and just kept flecking it off I did that like three or four times and finally it came out nice this guy down here uh, saved the planet little guy down here with some uh, Canadian maple leaves this one here I think it says sisters now I go over here this guy here I have to check the diamonds on this one they might they might be real it's hard to say it's a really nice uh, little ring even if they are cubic they're coatings, it's really nice and they do sparkle quite nice now this is a Pandora ring. This is uh, 
925 silver, obviously, and it's uh, plated in rose gold, which is a common uh, practice over there at uh, Pandora. This also, above it is also a Pandora ring, has a nice, it's kind of like a tiara look to it, I guess, with a nice uh, sparkly cubic zirconia at the top. And over here, last but not least, is a little uh, cross, I guess it's not that little, it's probably a couple inches long, that I found as well, and it's uh, in really nice shape, really nice detail on it. Alright, so here's uh, most of my gold finds for the season, well actually that's pretty much it. As you can see, I actually included the uh, the ring there with the H on it, because the H is gold. The... So uh, it wasn't the best pickings this year for me for gold, unfortunately, maybe next year will be better, I hope. But uh, still at the same time, uh, yeah, it's some good stuff. The ring with the H is a big silver, sterling silver ring. It might be onyx or something underneath the H. I'm not sure, but it lights up really. It's very interesting. I'll have to take that in and inquire about that, my jeweler friend. But uh, underneath that, we got a 10 karat gold band, which is uh, 3.5 grams. And to the right of the H there, we've got uh, a ring, which uh, when I took it in, it was in three pieces. To the right of that is a cross, a little cross pendant, which is actually the highest percentage of gold I've ever found to date, which is a 21 karat, which I think might be 90% gold. I'll have to look into that. Let's get in here at the bottom. This is a treat. This guy here is uh, about uh, 11 grams of uh, 14 karat white gold. It has a, uh, a four-point princess cut diamond in the center. The value of the diamond is twelve to $1,600, and the uh, ring itself is valued at about $3,000. So three Gs on this one, and uh, that pays for most of my metal detecting gear. So uh, not a bad deal, not a bad deal at all. It's uh, covered in rhodium. There's no uh, rub marks in the rhodium or anything, so it's in great shape. And uh, yeah, super happy with that one. So this is the end, and that is the review for the year 2021, and which I'm hoping there's going to be a lot more videos coming, and a lot more uh, digging sessions out there in the ground. I am fairly relatively young still, so uh, hopefully i got a few more digs in me. Alright guys, good luck and field.